I'm Chris Armstrong, I'm a member of the Haymakers Cooperative. I'm actually a woodworker, um, but in, I've got involved now with this project of um, selling the Tuareg jewellery uh, through, uh, through the gallery and it's available now all the time in the gallery. It's been a great success. We've had it for about five years and um, uh, I, it, we're, we're part of an organisation called Jump for Timbuktu. Once a year we, we bring them over and they are to be found demonstrating, and we get them demonstrating and showing their skills. So what for you is the motivation for bringing these artisans to Hay? Well what we're trying to do um, when we set up this uh, connection was to give them a market for their goods because as you may, as everyone probably knows, uh, Mali is one of the poorest countries in the world. The last year they've had this terrible um, unrest um, with the occupation of half the country, including Timbuktu. Um, in fact, our artisans had to leave the city and are having to work. One of them's in a refugee camp in Burkina Faso. So all this, is the motivation is to help them carry on providing a livelihood for their families, um, without which um, you know, they'd be severely impoverished. And what are your feelings about coming to visit England and Hay on Wai? Like we have a really, this, we have really a very good uh, cooperation with uh, with Jamfort in back too. Mm -hmm. So uh, really, is, uh, we uh, married our project and then talking about our project and then uh, progress for all the help they're doing for us, all the support they're doing for us, and then 